Are supplements really necessary? Find out on this next episode of Digest This. Welcome to Digest This, the show that helps you revolutionize your digestive health. Here are your hosts, Dr. Liz Cruz and Tina Nunziato. Hello and welcome to Digest This. I'm Dr. Liz Cruz and I've got Tina Nunziato sitting right by my side if you're watching us on YouTube. Thank you for joining us. If you're a first time listener, we welcome you. If you are a regular listener, we also welcome you. We love you. We love that you continue to support us on this journey. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, we know everyone is so busy. So the mere fact that you are listening or watching this, it, it means a lot to us. And we're very th appreciative and thankful for your support. So thank you. So Tina, what do you think? Are supplements really necessary? <laughs> So, you know, to be honest, I'm actually not a huge <clears throat> fan of patients taking a ton of supplements, mm -hmm. but I do feel that supplements are necessary. All right. So there you go. Especially as we get older. There you go. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us yeah. on this podcast. <laughs> we will catch you on the, <laughs> on the next, next podcast. One. So, okay. The reason that I thought that this, that we thought this would be a great topic was because I just came from an eye appointment um, this morning and the optometrist, we were just talking about, he was looking at my retina and he's like, oh, your retina looks great. I'm like, yay. And he said, yeah, he goes, it's amazing what nutrition and exercise will do for you. Um, he goes, and I just can't believe that they still don't really teach that in you know, in medical school, optometry school, what, you know, he was in general, he was talking about like in healthcare. Okay. Um, I mean, unless you go in and, and take a, you know, and take and be like functional diet, exactly. Or, or, or become a nutritionist or mm -hmm. a dietitian, you know, I don't, I mean, maybe in, even <clears throat> dietitians aren't getting the best yeah. education, honestly. Yeah. So he was, and then he went on to tell me how, you know, he interacts with a lot of providers, a lot of healthcare providers. And uh, specifically what he said is like, you know, he goes, you know, there are so many physicians. Um, and I think that we could probably extrapolate out and say a lot of healthcare providers, but he said there are so many physicians that don't believe in taking supplements or vitamins. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, because he has a, a not a line of supplements like we do, but he does have supplements that he promotes in his office for eye health. Does he? Yeah, okay. He does, yeah. All right. So like um, macular degeneration, like he has a supplement for macular degeneration. Oh, that's cool. And, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I hadn't seen that in, in his office. Yeah. I'll have to yeah. look. Yeah. So, you know, we started talking about that and we started talking about, you know, why these providers don't believe in it. He said, you know, because they feel we get it in our diet. And I said, well, I don't know about the standard American mm -hmm. diet. I would, I would have to beg to differ majorly on that one. Um, because we're, if you're eating the standard American diet, which is a lot of processed food, junk food, fast food, um, fast food not enough greens, mm -hmm. then no, there's you no are, way. <clears throat> there's no way you're going to get the nutrients that you need. Um, the, you know, the other thing too is, is, you know, well, he said, well, what about people that eat organically and they eat organ, you know, they eat stuff that's been grown organically and no pesticides. I'm like, well, that's, that's actually great. That is definitely a good thing. Um, though, though the soil these days that, that our produce, our fresh produce is grown in is probably lacking compared to soil from oh, it's for decades sure ago, yeah, that's right? One of the things I share with <clears throat> patients is that the head of lettuce that we eat has a lot less nutrition in it than the head of lettuce our grandparents ate. Right. And that's just because of the, the lack of nutrients in the soil. Yeah. And it's just going to get worse. Right. As Absolutely. The, as the decades go by. Absolutely. So. so, so those are all, I mean, those are all concerns. I mean, that, that number one, you know, the typical American diet, you're not going to get what you need as far as nutrients. And, and um, can I just add to that? Because yeah. I don't think people really think of the food they're eating as giving them nutrients. Right. Like people don't realize <clears throat> that the food they're eating is fuel, mm -hmm. right? It's not just, I just need to fill my stomach and feel full. Or for pleasure. Right? Or for Something pleasure. that, yeah. oh, it's so good. Yeah. You know, it, which, of course, you want it to be good. Like when I explain to patients that like what they're eating is in direct correlation to like how they're feeling, mm -hmm. like they're like, what do you mean? Like they don't, they don't get that food is fuel and that that food gets turned into 
nutrients that then gives to the body, right? right? And so if even like when I ask them if they're eating green, right? And they're like, oh yeah, I have a spinach salad every day, okay? And I'm like, okay, that's fine. But the thing is, is that every vegetable and every fruit, and I know we've mentioned this on podcasts before, but like every single thing that you put in your body has its own um, mix of vitamins and minerals. Mm -hmm. And if you're only eating spinach every day, you're only giving your body the vitamins and minerals from spinach. So it's really important to mix up the vegetables you're eating, mix up the fruits you're eating, keep your body guessing what is it going to get today, right? right? Because if you're only giving it the vitamins and minerals from spinach every day, then it's lacking something. And that's where having a varied diet becomes really important. Um, but people don't think of food that way. Right. They don't. Yeah, no, I like, and I do like that, um, that, that little line you used of keep the body guessing, yeah. you know, um, I think that's, I think that that's awesome. So, so, so to answer the question that we started out with on the podcast, on this episode, you know, are supplements necessary? We believe that they are. Mm -hmm. Okay. We definitely believe that they are. We, you know, we've been, and we have been promoting this for over a decade in our practice okay so when we realized years ago when we started on our journey to try to discover what was the missing link as far as you know how we were counseling our patients what we figured you know there were several things but one of the things was the nutrients that we're not getting the nutrients so we ended up one of the products that we have are called our our greens okay our our gastro greens um, and, uh, and basically the greens are, uh, pulverized greens, greens that have been dried, pulverized, dried and, and, uh, crushed into, into powder mm -hmm. and they're put into a capsule. Okay. So when you take those capsules, you're getting a ton of greens. Mm -hmm. You're taking, getting a ton of greens that is so good for your body. Mm -hmm. So good for helping to build healthy cells, healthy tissue, healthy organs. Okay. Yeah, and, and we're trying to get patients <clears throat> off the standard one a day multivitamin by mm -hmm. taking the greens because your body wants to get vitamins and minerals from real food, right. not synthetic capsules made in a lab. So when a patient presents to us with, oh, I'm taking 30 supplements, you know, I'm taking this one for my hair and this one for my nails and this one for my skin, and that's not the way the body wants to get nutrients. And, and a lot of times you end up getting a stomach ache when you take too many supplements because the body doesn't know what to do with all of the extra fillers and all the capsules and right. all that, which is not good for you, right? So taking like a hundred supplements, definitely not good for you, right? But trying to focus in on getting in a good green supplement, especially if you're not eating enough greens during the day, you absolutely must be supplementing green. Okay. Yep. Um, and then the other thing from a, a, just a nutrition standpoint that we have to help with benefiting from nutrients is the enzymes. Right. Right. So like you could eat the healthiest diet in the world, but if your body isn't breaking it down, then you're not benefiting from what you're eating, okay? So this is a huge, huge thing that I try to teach patients about is anybody over the age of 40 should be on a really good digestive enzyme with their meals just because even if you're well and you, you're just trying to maintain your health, I mean, obviously, if you're having digestive issues, mm -hmm. you absolutely must be on digestive enzymes. But even if you're healthy and you're trying to maintain that health and, and every decade of life, your enzyme production is declining. Doesn't matter how good you eat. So taking an enzyme with your meals is just gonna give your body that extra support it needs to break that food down properly so that you can benefit from what you're eating. And then of course, trying to eat healthier, right? Right. right. I mean, you don't want it. It's, you know, one thing if you're digesting a McDonald's burger versus, you know, a salad, yes. right? Yes. Um, but it doesn't, you know, we've, I've had so many patients where I've had to educate them. They're like, I eat healthy all day. I eat salads, I eat soups but if they have reflux, they're on a PPI medicine, whatever, they're not digesting well, you know? And I tell them, if you're not digesting, you're not benefiting from what you're eating. And here you're doing all this work to try to eat better, yet you're not getting the nutrition that the body needs. And again, just the idea of equating that food going in as the nutrition mm -hmm. that your body so desperately needs, people, there's a disconnect there. Yeah. They don't really see the, the um, how that works, how that process works in the body. Because the reality is that if you're not giving your body the nutrients that it needs from the food that you eat and that you're digesting it properly, 
the body knows it's very smart. Like it knows you need nutrients. And, and if you're not giving it to it, it starts to rob from itself sure. to get the nutrients. Absolutely. And the first place it goes is the bone and the muscle because that's where we have the mm -hmm. most nutrients stored up, most vitamins and minerals stored. So osteopenia, osteoporosis, muscle spasms, bone loss, all of that is basically we're not giving our body enough nutrition. Um, so it's not about drink more milk, right? <clears throat> right, it's, right? It's about you're not eating the best foods mm -hmm. and you're not digesting those foods properly. It's yeah. very, very simple, but we're just not taught those things. Yeah, yeah. it's, uh, <clears throat> I mean, honestly, I couldn't say it any better than what Tina already said. Um, you know, so, so absolutely, you should be on greens. Um, I can tell you if you're on the traditional standard American diet, you're not getting the nutrients you need, okay? You're not getting the nutrients you need. Um, you know, you definitely need to be changing that up. And if you need guidance on that, we are happy to guide you. Um, you can connect with us. We have uh, a button on our website, drlizcruz.com. It's a magenta colored button that you can click and schedule a free 30 minute wellness consult. And you can do that from anywhere in the world because it's done over the phone. Um, so please reach out to us if you need guidance, if you know that you're probably not eating, you know, getting enough nutrients and maybe you're on a bunch of supplements and you just need some help, reach out to us. We'd love for you to connect with us um, and we'd love to guide you and help you out on your journey. Okay. And if you haven't rated our show, please give us a five, rate us, give us a five. It'll help other people just like you to find us faster. And lastly, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so that you never miss an episode. Thank you so much for joining us and we will catch you on the next podcast. Thank you for joining Dr. Liz Cruz and Tina Nunziato. To learn more about their revolutionary products and services, go online to www.drlizcruz.com.